What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Protoss Cheese to Grid Master. In the last episode, we had an absolutely disgusting Dark Temple episode. Today, I'm going to be trying to do all the crazy cheeses that I've been wanting to do, but didn't get the right matchup for, such as Proxy Carrier against Terran. Really excited for that one. Our MMR is already comfortably in the Master's territory, and I checked, and we are already within 500 MR of Grandmaster. Let's begin. First game of the day is against the Zerg. All right, so... What I said in the last episode, last episode we got three Protoss players, by the way, if you guys didn't see it. And we did some brutal DT rushes. I said I would love to do DT rush against other matchups too. So I'm really excited to play Proxy Carrier against Terran. Like 100% that's what I want to do. Against the Zerg, maybe I'll go for that DT rush that I told you guys I was going to do. Now I do want to... Wait, why does my color look so pure? I think I turned up the intensity on accident. I'm not even sure... Did I intend to do that? I, I don't think I did. It looks very cool anyway. Or maybe it's just the monetary. <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah, it looks the same, you terrible. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, I'm going to be the T rushing this Zerg. Now, there's one thing against Zerg. Against Protoss, I had some really sick mind games with, you know, pretending to be expanding and then actually going for like a proxy DT rush, etc. Against Zerg, you can't do that because overlords see everything uh well not literally everything but they see a lot so what you want to do is you want to at least pretend that you're playing normal and since i'm not going to get out a stalker very fast that means i will have to expand because if i don't expand by the time the overlord checks my base uh you know we're just we're just already screwed i mean it's very obvious i mean you could always be lucky that they don't realize someone that is dt's and just not make a spore but that seems a little far-fetched yeah, let's try to start annoying the zerg players this is how you get people to hate you, by the way. You mine their minerals and get them really annoyed. See, here we go. She said that, that drone had to leave. He's doing a pretty good job of retargeting them, though, I have to say. Want to make sure I don't miss out on my Nexus timing because I'm having too much fun. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I did actually mine there. That's all good, though. I think I wasn't being too efficient anyway because my opponent was on point. Sometimes I don't even try and they just, like, look at them <laughs> losing, like, an eighth of their income or something. Uh, okay, there we go. For a second, I thought I wouldn't be able to put that in the right place. Now, this probe has to proxy. Um, I think I'm going to make one more pylon in front here. So when the overlord checks my main base, there is at least a pylon there. I think that makes sense. And this one is definitely going to go to a proxy location, but I want to make it pretty far. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build it here. And that seems like a crazy location, but the thing is, if someone scouts this area of the map, they would scout on the left side, kind of seeing if the gold minerals are there, right? They might not scout this little corner over here, so that's the thing. I'm going to chrono boost my stalker. Uh, I'm not going to make warp gate. I'm going to make the twilight first. And the reason why I do that is because skipping warp gate is usually a sign of going for stargate. So if he's paying attention, he, he might not be. I mean, it's just a ladder game. Sometimes people are just playing while they're a little bit groggy or something. I don't know. If he was paying attention, uh, then he might think that I'm going for stargate. Now, I'm going to be able to do some damage against this overlord, which is quite nice. Now, let's see how many... Oh, dude, I didn't even realize this pillar was here, and I was just like... <laughs> Where did the overlord go? What the hell? Where's my overlord at? I was about to kill that thing. Okay, so I'm going to make it adept. I'm going to send... Let's see, what am I going to send? I'm going to send the Stalker to the main. The Tisha, it's pretty fast, by the way. I, I'm a little nervous about building a gate here because a gate is it's, it's a little wider, right? So I guess if they're going to scout it on accident, then it's going to be uh, by scouting the gateway. I feel like I want to go for multiple gates, but I think three is going to be enough. All right, here we go. So I gave him all the signs that I was going to go for Stargate. I mean, I, I think... But actually, the Stalker is probably slightly suspicious, I want to say. I'm going to make a battery here. Just to make him think I'm being defensive or something. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, I'm not defensive at all. I think I'm going to make a gas. I, I, I'm trying to think what kind of follow-up I could do that's cool. Right? Because I could go for Glaze. I could go for Charge. I feel like a Charge follow-up would be very, very cool. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I like that, actually. I'm going to cut probes after this. And then I'm just going to start making a lot of gateways in charge. Charge takes 100 seconds. So with Chrono, that's... Wait, is Chrono... I don't even know how much Chrono boosts, actually. I always forget that. It's faster. Okay, well, we'll keep it at that, guys. It's going to be faster. Let's see. Warp Gate is going to finish in the perfect time. Yo, I have to say, these DT builds... Look at this. Look at the Warp Gates finishing in the Dark Shadow. How are these builds always perfect? I swear, guys. I have not been practicing these in freaking... Uh, you know, against the AI or something. Like, for some reason, DT builds, they just, they just come very naturally. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to Chrono Boost Charge. And then I'm going to follow it up 
Um, he, he could have detection, by the way, but I would imagine... Actually, I should keep the these together, to be honest. Like, making detection isn't uh, unheard of against Protoss. Like, he could have made spores. So I'm going to keep them together so I can target the spore if there's not enough units nearby. That's the plan. So let's see. There might be a spore here. I want to... Ooh, okay. Uh, I saw Link, so I'm going to walk to the third base. If there's a spore here and I kill it, that'd be massive. Let's see. There is a spore. I'm going to go for it. Okay, I think I attacked it fast enough. He doesn't have a transfuse. Oh, this is going to be brutal, guys. The spore goes down, and now that means he is going to be losing that base, which is very, very, very painful. And I'm just going to be stacking zealots here over at my proxy behind the gold. Yo, wouldn't have been... I could take the gold after that, you know? That That is actually not a bad idea. Like, taking the gold after going for the proxy over here. Like, like let's say I forget. Just for Protoss players out there, you know. Let's let's say I forget about the Alin that I'm doing with, like, the, the Archons and whatever. Let's say I take the gold over there. That'd be freaking killer. Wait, does he have an Overseer? No, okay. I was starting to wonder because he... Look at this. Oh, guys, this attack is going to be freaking sick. I, I, I love it so much when I do a build that's accidentally inhuman, you know. Okay, check this out. No, I don't have to chrome it anymore. I'm going to get... Oh, I, I have to... I was, I was so excited. I have to my units across. Okay. Oh, I need to be very careful here. I, oh, no. I'm barely not going to be able to get those. Oh, that sucks. I was going to get so many Arcos. Oh, okay. That stays alive. That's very nice. Here we go. I got a ton. I feel like at this point, I can probably just send everything across. I mean, it's just queens that he has, right? It's not exactly terrifying. I'm going to send these here as well. The queens are going to fall pretty fast, but I want to make sure to keep at least a couple zealots alive together with my Archons. There we go. Then I'm going to take the Nexus from the backside because that's even sneak here. And I'm going to start making these. Now, there are roaches, so I'm going to start Blink. Dude, I, I really love this build, but we still have to be careful here, guys. Like, my supply is not hot. Archons are not going to be that great against these uh, units. And my supply my work account is pretty low like i'm not sure we have found ourselves ahead here um and it might be i'm not kidding this might be purely because i got caught just like a little bit too fast and i missed out on the archons i lost two dts almost a third one now i think it would be good for wait i could also go for blink dts actually thinking about it maybe that's not a crazy idea should i no obviously it's a crazy idea but i mean maybe it could work i guess that that's what i should say obviously it's it's absolutely absurd but i, I think it could genuinely work so i can go for like no i'm gonna make zealots now because they're a little cheaper i'm gonna make zealots first i like how i'm getting blink and a templar archives and dt blink by the way why did you go back you absolute psycho probe why did you go all the way back home just to reveal yourself to a zerg like oh my goodness probes guys i swear was, wasn't me controlling it wasn't me definitely not so i got this i'm gonna get storm as well because storm is a very good upgrade now i just want to snipe his third base that's all i want to do here let's see oh wait am i gonna be able to snipe both no oh that's a lot of roaches with road sheet by the way i have to say that okay wait i can oh wait he's chasing me i think that's pretty good for me guys i'm gonna get into here i'm gonna start killing the queens and stuff and in the meantime i'm gonna try to recall a bunch of these probes he's following me over here I guess I might as well kill this overseer. I don't know if he's like trying to pop down a Nidus or whatever. Uh, let's see. Should I? Well, yeah. I, I was thinking about. I was thinking if I maybe should have recalled these, but I guess that's uh, already too late for them. Gonna warp a bunch of Templars. Uh, these. I guess I'll make some batteries. I can also go for a forge so I can make cannons later. Yo, these zealots are doing everything. Oh my goodness. He's been chasing these archons, but he lost everything at home. I think he never realized that he was losing everything in his main base because. He's just been chasing these like crazy. Now, I do need to pull these back into the main base. Storm is not quite finished yet. I, I can't believe he lost everything to these couple zealots. Holy cow, that is incredible. Now, what do I make? I think we should probably go for... Yeah, just stalkers here, right? I mean, I, I'm going to have a lot of storms. Like, I feel like this has been a good move. I, I could always go for the... Um snipe the overseer and and make the tease thing oh there's gonna be a fast star oh he's gonna walk through no you're crazy look at the damage on those i still have a couple storms available as well I'm gonna get a fast storm he's trying to oh my god i didn't even need these stalkers he's gonna lose all the roaches already i'm gonna be turning them into archons and we have done it i feel like he definitely was a little bit in the lead after my build like it was not the greatest thing i've ever done but yeah, walking through those storms, that was definitely not the play. I can tell you guys that much. Here we go. I'm going to blink to surround him. He's still running away. Does he have upgrades? He does not have upgrades. I should probably make those myself. I feel like I usually forget about those in my, in my off-race challenges. And I'm going to go for that gold base. I should probably go for the other gold base as well in this location because I'm cra playing crazy enough anyway. But I feel like here we have done it. Nevermore calls GG. And there we go. And this cheese...
it was one of those cheeses where it's very cool. It probably could have looked a lot stronger. In this game, it didn't look that strong because I killed his third base, but the way I was doing it with the 6k charge, I found myself being behind because he made roaches, which are good against Archons, and they defend the Zealots as well at the same time. So the follow-up here wasn't good. Maybe the DT rush into the hidden base without the charge lane would have been great into Mass Stalker, but I still really love this game. Let's go to game number two. Right, game number two is against the Terran player. All right, now... I've been talking about this proxy carrier build, right? The thing is, I wish we had that last map for it because then I can take the gold base and it's epic, but I still really want to try it. It's a build so absurd that it could work. Uh, the, when I saw this build, it was also on that map. So you could, the, the, the guy took the gold bases. I saw this in a tournament. I mentioned this a couple of videos ago, I believe. So in the tournament, he took uh, he did it on the map with the gold bases. And then what happened is normally if you scout a Protoss that is on one base, you kind of just scout the map for a proxy, right? But if you play on that map specifically, you might scout for the gold bases first, and there's just multiple things to think of, so it's way harder uh, to actually find out what, what's going on. If this is a map, or well, this is a map without gold bases, if I proxy, it's very likely he's just going to find it at some point. Now, I, I am going to build it very far. Okay, I think I'm going to build it all the way here. The thing with proxy carrier is that you need to wait a little bit because carriers have to charge interceptors. God, I'm so curious if I can win with this. I mean, our, our opponent was uh, higher MMR than us. He was basically on the border of Grandmaster already. So this is going to be, I mean, if I can beat some of this IOR with this build, maybe it's actually pretty insane. So I'm going to get gas number one thing. I'm, oh, no, I can actually hit it. Okay, I thought I was unlucky with the RNG area, but I could actually hit the SCV. There we go. He's not sending a new one yet. This is quite painful for him, I have to say. Maybe I can out-micro. There we go. I mean, if he wants to hit me, um, I, I don't mind losing HP here because he's not building his barracks. Oh, that was such a big win for me. Very, very, very nice. I do think I have to send out another pro because he's going to keep following this one. I think that makes sense. Here we go. And at some point, I'll just attack it, of course. Uh, get my free 20 damage. Always nice. There we go. And then I'll escape as usual. Gonna make my cybernetic score. Guess I'll just run this way. I think you're not supposed to make a lot of units. I I'm pretty sure you're supposed to make like one adept only with this build. Or maybe two adepts. Uh, but I'm gonna build even further. I'm, gonna I'm actually gonna build all the way here. Let's see. Yeah. That's like the, the darkest corner on the map basically. That's where I'm gonna build it. There we go. Like keep in mind there's also a fleet beacon as well. Oh, I can attack this SUV as well. Let's see. Here we go. I'm going to leave it at one shield. So if he makes the command center, it's going to be hard for him to... Um, you know, he, he can't just pull away and damage me. There we go. Okay, very good. Can I get some more? I'm, I'm going to win. <laughs> That's actually disgusting. <laughs> No, I ever can kill this thing. I'm going to reach his warp gate. That, that's obviously a fake, though. Like, I, I I don't want that warp gate, right? Like, that's just... God, I can't believe I actually... I killed, I killed two SCVs, guys. I killed two SCVs with my scouting probe. That is, that's absurd. Probes are broken, guys. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. They're, they're just broken, right? I mean, it's... Facts. Facts speak for themselves, guys. That's all I can say. I'm going to bring this bad boy back in together with the adept, because then I can kill them even faster. Um, I do want to... Yeah, I know what? I'm going to expand here instead. Instead of taking the gold, I, I think I'll just take a random uh, hidden expansion on the map. That's my plan. going to shade it one more time. He could obviously have a bunker already at this time. A little diffusion cord there. Oh, I, I think you are supposed to get plus one as well with this build. So I guess I'll just get that now. Here we go. Can I kill the SCP? He, f he found it all the way there. Oh my god. That is, that is a find. I mean... A shout, a shout out to Guy. That is crazy. I mean, it, you know what's funny? It kind of looks like it's Tempest, you know? Because who the hell would go carriers here? Like, it's just... It's kind of crazy. Well, actually, maybe I should... Uh, oh, he's not paying attention. Oh, he's paying attention now. I still want to take a hidden expansion, but where? Mm, I might have to change... The thing is, he's still going to think it's Tempest, most likely. Right? That, that's the thing. He's still going to think this is Tempest. So... Okay. Oh, we're going to kill the Reaper. Look at that. Yes, very, very, very nice. Okay. And then I guess I'll just start, you know, casually making carriers because why not? I'm going to take the base behind it as well. He didn't check it. So maybe it's not, maybe it would be better if I take it on the other side of the map. But now it's already too late. My probe is already here. So here we go. I, I, I would have I loved to have another, um, what's it called? I would have loved to have another adept so I could go for my one shotting three adept squad. That's sadly not going to happen. Let's see, how many does he have? I'm just going to go up here. Here we go. I mean, this command center has been denied forever, by the way. Like, it's pretty crazy. I feel like this command center should have been able to mine ages ago, but it's not even done yet. 
Yeah, I think... Okay, I did make the pile. Yeah, yeah, okay, I did. I feel like he, he, he could really kill this already. Did he maybe stop building marines? Okay, there we go. He has a couple. I'm gonna try to kill the... Let's see. The low HP ones should probably be able to die relatively easily. There we go. Gonna get that one. And then I'll kill another one too. Wait, if he's, I'm gonna pretend to shade away and just kill all of these marines. I think I'm barely gonna win. It's so close. Look. And then I'm gonna kill the SCP too? No! Dude, they're so low HP, both of those. But the Marines, they, yeah, they shoot a little bit faster. Okay, so this carrier is charging. My plus one is going to finish, which is nice. I, I think I want to... I could recall, but I think I want to chrono boost instead. Yeah, I'll just go for the chrono boost instead. I'll just... I'm going to send a couple probes out there. I mean, I, I, I have enough minerals for now anyway, right? I'm also going to send one to the other corner of the map, though. I'm, a, I'm actually curious, because he, he must be... Ex if he was expecting carriers... And not Tempest. He's a freaking genius. Okay, so there was an SCV on my natural. Yeah, that's now going to find uh, my next base, which I, I don't really think is the biggest deal, to be honest. I mean, uh, if this fails, then, you know, what do we really have left anyway? Now, do you think he would be making turrets? Or is it Vikings? Or I... I, I can't predict what this guy is going to build. Like, I've, I've never done this before, ever. Like, no no kidding. I've never done this before. So I'm genuinely curious what I'm going to find here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. I'm going to be able to kill the uh, the Cyclones. The Cyclones are going to die instantly, by the way. Like, carriers are so good against Cyclones. Look at this. The Viking is going to die, too. The carrier is going to live, I think. That Cyclone is going to fall. No way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. No way. I feel like I should maybe bring this carrier back. Everything is already dead. Look at that. I guess I might as well, uh, you know, start attacking this starport too. Oh my goodness. This is so crazy. I can't believe how everything just got one shot by this carrier. Okay, I feel like I've ruined the ladder again. I I've already ruined it a, a good amount of times, I think. But we've we have ruined it once again, I'm afraid. Oh, maybe I should just get plus two air. Why not? I guess, I guess it makes sense, right? Getting plus two air. Here we go, I'm gonna kill that. I mean, he's gonna get more Cyclones, but... The, the Cyclones really just get one shot, like, I don't know. Oh, he's gonna try to repair the unit. I, I don't think that's gonna work, to be honest. Okay, so he's gonna kill one of these. Let's see, maybe against one carrier he could? I mean, I guess the plus one is just so strong. Like, the, the plus one attack is actually crazy on these carriers, you know? Look at that. Okay, now we're gonna one-tap one that Cyclone, yep. <laughs> <laughs> this might be like my favorite new cheese this is so stupid but it's so strong as well at the same time look at all the scps they're just gonna die i mean he's gonna try yeah, he's, i was gonna say he's gonna try target a carry okay i'm not i think this might be the most tilted this guy's been in stark I, I would be like i'm not kidding either. i was tearing i was playing ladder i lose against this that i would be so incredibly tilted like he had all the answers too he was making two starport reactor viking he had cyclos with the upgrade he had marines and still my two carriers just killed absolutely everything <laughs> look at the units lost 1k is 4k guys we have done it again we have ruined the ladder i even forgot to take this base all the time because i was just busy <laughs> looking at my carriers killing everything 27 kills on this bad boy this is absolutely brutal maybe the most beautiful cheese i've done in a while let's go to game number three uh, game number three is against another Zerg. What do I want to do against this Zerg player? Hmm. We already... Wait, maybe I should try the DT rush, but then instead of the follow-up all in, try to, like, you know, take an expansion and see how strong it can be. I could also... Hmm, no, you, you know what I'm thinking about, guys? I, I think I mentioned this a couple times, but I used to be a Protoss player, like a Protoss main, in this very long ago. I think 2010 and 2011, I was a Protoss main. And I would love to do, like, some of my builds from back then. But the thing is, they, they would just absolutely suck now. If, if you guys didn't know, it's actually pretty funny. Because in the last 10 years, Protoss pretty much always go for Gateway, Expand, Cybernetics Core, right? But for the first couple of years, it was way more common. Um, or, well, the first two years, I want to say. Way more common to go for Forge Expand. People didn't believe they could survive. And that sounds insane, right? They didn't believe they could survive playing... Uh, gateway expansion. So everyone was going for Forge. So the build I had was you go Forge Expand, so you make like one cannon, you expand, and then at some point you would get plus one. You would make four gate Zealot without charge, and you would just attack with a bunch of Zealots because with plus one, they two-shot Zerglings. But I feel like if, if they would go Roaches against that, then 
you know, what is even, <laughs> like, what is even the point of the build anymore? So that's why I'm not sure if it will work. I, I would love to, actually, I'm just going to try it. Why not? I, I'm, I'm just going to give it a shot. So my forge, I'm going to have to fit it in there somewhere. It, it's already really crazy to just make a forge early, by the way. Like, no one would ever do that. Like, it's just, it's just weird. So I wonder if I, I could even fit it in there somewhere. Okay, let's steal some of his minerals again. He's also paying pretty good attention, so I'm not going to be able to steal too much, unfortunately. But I'm annoying him, which is already a bonus, of course. Okay, okay there we go. And I'm mine from that now. And I guess, I guess this is when I make the forge, or should I... Yeah, I guess, well, it just, it feels so weird. Like, I will, I don't want him to fly over and see a forge, but I, I guess it's going to happen. Okay, he's going to see the forge now and be like, um, <laughs> I, th I think you made the wrong building, my friend. <laughs> That's not what's supposed to be made. So I'm going to make one stalker, plus one. Okay, so his hatcher is there. I, I'm going to make one stalker, plus one. <laughs> And then I suppose I'll just make a million zealots. I, I definitely don't think I should be making the... Uh, how much does that take? 100 seconds. I want to guess that plus one probably takes a little longer than that. Let's, let's just make sure before we uh, cancel. Yeah, plus one takes a little longer than that. So there we go. I'm going to start plus one first. And then I'm going to make all of the gateways after. I do want to make them fast. So I'm going to, you know, cut a little bit of production here. Here we go. Going to get a gate over here. And then I suppose I'll chrono that one more time. And then after that, I should really start chrono boosting the, the warp gate here. There we go. So I'm going to go for a four gate zealot attack with very little probes. Because, uh, yeah, I guess that's just, you know, Wings of Liberty style. Yeah, actually, Wings of Liberty, not even hard as hard. It's literally Wings of Liberty style protos. And then I'm going to go for a four gate blink on after. That, that, that's how I remember that the build went. I don't remember exactly how or... <laughs> you know when i'm supposed to like chrono boost or whatever but that is roughly how the build went i i do want to pile on that somewhat close i just don't think i can build it close enough really uh wait there's are why do those rocks look so weird they, they look like they're not rocks they're so small did they make them smaller at some point like I, am i crazy or were they actually really small i feel like they were super tiny yeah i'm gonna start four four zealots are building from normal gateways guys this is God, I feel so weird doing this as well. Like it's just, it, it doesn't make sense, you know? It's, it's not even going to arrive that fast either. God, I, I can't believe that people would... Look, look at it. Look at what he sees. He sees a bunch of gateways building units without warp game. <laughs> he must be like, what's wrong with this guy? This guy has no idea. This guy came back after like five... Or no, not even more. He came back after 12 years of not playing this game. Going to make some more there. Twilight Council after. If he was paying attention, he could have seen a couple zealots finish, which also looks very weird. But I I'm gonna have nine zealots with plus one. I mean, if, if, if he somehow doesn't have roaches, it could actually be pretty good, right? I'm, I'm gonna have nine zealots with plus one. Like, it's really it's really not that bad. So he sees it's finished now. I think then you were supposed to go for plus two attack, plus blink. God, these builds were so weird. Can you guys believe that this was like an acceptable build at some point? Here we go, guys. Four, nine zealots with plus one. Let's see. Oh, surrounding the queen. They're, oh my god, that was clean. Okay, we take those. And then I guess I'll just go for that base. Is he going to run away? No, he's not going to run away with the drones quite yet. I guess, I guess I'll just target the hatchery. I'll whop a couple more zealots in too. Here we go. Hatchery is being targeted as we speak. Like, he's going to try to fight, but these zealots are actually insane. Look how fast the circlings die to the plus one zealots. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. And then I need to start blinking. So Yeah, these zealots are so strong. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this kind of stuff still works. My opponent must be absolutely shell-shocked at this moment. Gonna start saturating those gases so I can prepare for the follow-up. Plus one all in. Like, e even these roaches are not gonna do that great. Like, these roaches are struggling. Look at that. I'm not sure how many drones I killed, but it must have been at least a pretty good amount. Now, I, I feel like I should also be going for DTs after this, but that I don't think I can fit in. I Wait, like these animals are doing every... You guys see this? I mean, it's natural right now, guys. I'm going to kill some of these drones, actually. I'm not going to kill too many more of the links, so I feel like I might as well get some of the drones. There we go. going to get one more, I believe. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I do need to add the gateway still. I did forget about the gateways for a while. And then I'm going to go for the plus two blink all-in follow-up. Couple sentries, of course. Wings of Liberty style. I guess I'll make another pylon. I need another pylon. I need I need four more probes, I believe. I'm actually surprised I was able to get a pylon up, by the way. I feel like it's very uncommon that you can get away with that. So now I'm just going to do a massive 
uh, yeah, two base blink call in, basically, from eight gateways. I have a good saturation. And oh, I actually, I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling a little nostalgic right now. I, I, I'm getting good memories from just playing absolute garbage like this, you know. And I, I can't believe how well it worked. Like, this guy is like, like it, just imagine. Let's say this guy played Wings of Liberty, like, really early on. Then he's like, oh my god, this guy hasn't played in years. But if he hasn't, let's say he's like a relatively new player, like, last five years. He's like... What did I just play against? And why does not everyone play this? Because holy cow, you know? <laughs> I mean, nine zealots, guys, I'm telling you. Okay, let's get these stalkers. What sucks is in Wings of Liberty, if you guys didn't know, this would have been a fast warp in. The, the slow warp is didn't exist in Wings of Liberty. So even proxy pylons would warp in uh, super, super, super fast. Plus to his finish, plus to attack on these stalkers is going to be absolutely brutal too, of course. Maybe getting charges to follow up would be quite nice. Here we go. Gonna do one hallucinated phoenix just to see what we're up against here. He does have a decent amount of stuff, but not that much. Okay. I mean, if he wants to fight me straight up, I'm gonna win. Because I have really good upgrades. And I bet, yeah, he doesn't have any upgrades whatsoever. Because we're gonna warp some zealots. Would have been nice if I have rapid fire, but I don't need it. Look at these stalkers, guys. These plus two stalkers hitting so freaking hard. And there we go. The last roach is gonna fall. He's gonna have zerklings, but by the time those come out, my beautiful zealots will have reached already. Well, actually not, but I don't need them. That also works. A little bit of blink micro here. Nothing special, obviously. And I'm gonna go for the DT shrine. That's mostly gonna be for Arkans, but I don't need it anymore and pete has been defeated by 2011 euthermal now you know what 2011 well actually i switched halfway through the year to terran so early 2011 euthermal this is how we played guys there you go absolutely beautiful cheese but no seriously this episode was it was insane the proxy carry the dt rush the wings delivered cheese i feel like this episode had everything i've been loving these videos so much really having a fantastic time and hope you guys are as well if you did make sure to give a video like subscribe to the channel and I'll see y'all for the next one adios